All right, let's animate. So this is just going to be a very simple intro into animation and actually animating. So I've dropped in a cube, and this is my timeline. I can left click and drag and scrub through my timeline, or I can left click on the timeline to go to a certain frame. If I change this number, this is just the total frames that I have available. I can change this to 300 if I want. And then this is my view. So I can see all 300 frames. Or I can say, man, I really don't need to see that much right now. So I can adjust this bar. This number can be anything. OK, so we're just going to have this cube move across the screen. So remember, in stop, a stop motion animation, you pose your character or whatever you're trying to animate. You take a picture, and then you pose, take a picture, pose, take a picture. So on frame one, if this cube is where I want it, I'm going to left click frame one. It's where I want it. I'm going to hit S. That's kind of like taking a picture. And then I'm going to go forward in time. So I'm going to pick a time that's higher than one on my timeline. Then I'm going to pose this cube, so I'm going to move him this way. And then I'm going to hit S. So then if I left click and scrub, the computer is filling in all these frames. I took a picture here and a picture here. Okay, so we have just animated something. Let's press play. Awesome. If your animation is going really fast, it's probably looking something like this. So I can right click my timeline and go to playback speed and then change this to real time. Now let's see. So that is more accurate representation of 24 frames a second. All right, so it goes over. But let's say halfway, I actually want it to be in the air. So I can go to roughly the halfway mark, lift it up, and then hit S. So I made my change, I hit S, and now there's another tick mark. There's another keyframe there. So now it's going to go up and back down. So we can animate all kinds of things in Maya if we wanted to rotate it. So, all right, yeah, that's great. I actually want it to spin in midair. So I'm just going to grab this and rotate kind of like this. And then hit S. So now it's rotating up. And there we go. Same thing with scale, scale that down. So if I do this and hit S, it's going to get smaller and then back to larger. Smaller, it's rotating, back to normal. Piece of cake. OK, so now if I want to delete these keyframes, I can hold down Shift on my keyboard and then left click and drag in the timeline. And I can highlight. So if I don't want to get rid of these and start over, then I right click in the red and hit delete. So this time, I'm just going to make this a little smaller to give you an example. So I pose my cube, that's where I want it. Actually, I want two of them for this example. All right, so I'm going to hit S. Notice when I select this one, there's no keyframes. So the keyframes that I set on this object are just for this object, nothing else. I'm going to go to frame 10 and then move the box to the edge of this grid and then hit S. So as you'd expect, my box is moving over there. Now on this one, I'm going to do frame 3. So at frame 1, I'm going to hit S. I'm going to go forward in time on my timeline, move it to the edge of the grid, and hit S. So this one takes three frames to get there, and this one takes ten frames to get there. So if this were my animation, it's like, oh man, that one gets there way too fast. I want the top to beat the bottom just by a little bit. So I need to adjust my timing. So I'm going to hold down shift and left click my timeline, and I'm just going to use these middle arrows. So left click, highlight that keyframe, use those middle arrows, and I know that one gets there at frame 10, so I'm going to make this frame 8. And now, this one beats it just by a hair. So that's how I can adjust my keyframes. 